everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in. My name is the goddess love. The God in me salutes the God in you. Okay, I just wanted to stop by today and share something with you that the Holy Spirit put in my heart this morning. Um, but before we begin, let's open up a prayer. Infinite Spirit, we give you all the praise, thanks, glory, and honor. Speak through me today and let your perfect will be done. Bless everyone that's listening to the sound of my voice with health, wealth, love, joy, happiness, and success. And so it is. Amen. Okay. All right, you guys. So the Holy Spirit put in my spirit this morning, um, this is what he said to me. If people speak different languages and have different dialects and everything, the only way that they really understand each other is if they speak that same language or they could kind of understand their language and communicate a little bit. Or like people that have to speak sign language, have to do sign language, the only way you could really understand is if you know sign language. So he was saying, um, that's just like, okay, so the Holy Spirit dwells in the heavenly realm, okay? Now, we all know that God lives in us, but let's talk about our lower selves and let's talk about our higher selves. And so in order to communicate with your higher self, which is your God self, you have to be able to speak that language. Now, I know some of you guys may be thinking, well, God hears me and, you know, I hear what God is saying and I don't know how to speak in tongues. And that's fine okay that's grace all right grace is a wonderful thing that god has given to us all right to operate in this earth realm grace and mercy is wonderful but we got to get out of staying in the realm of grace and mercy not get out of it but not just operate in grace and mercy okay we want to operate in the realm of miracles and abundance okay so not just because grace and mercy is wonderful you guys but not just operate in grace and mercy but in the realm of miracles and abundance as well and so what he was saying to me was um if the father the holy spirit He was saying, what makes us think that if all these races have their own language and dialect, why wouldn't the Holy Spirit in the heavenly realm or in the spirit realm have its own language and dialect? And I said, hmm, that's interesting. So anyway, I just come today to share this with you guys, that even if you do feel like you communicate with God, that's wonderful, but don't you want to go to higher levels in God? Don't you want to learn and operate um, and dwell in um, in the realm of miracles? I'm trying to turn this air off, you guys. So, anywho, um, I just thought that was really interesting. I just it it, it just kind of blew me away. It makes a lot of sense, like. If you know how to speak the language of the Holy Spirit, you're in direct communication, you know, not waiting and hoping and praying and wishing, you know, um, that God heard you or I, I don't know, you guys. It's just I'm, I'm thinking about my life right now and I'm trying to share this as best as I can, but I'm thinking about my own life and I'm like, God is absolutely right now. I speak in tongues and I pray in, in the spirit. And I even said, you know, I want my prayer language to increase, to be better. Um, so what do I need to do as far as get still and get quiet? And because I want my tongues to be different. Okay. Um, I've, I was telling my children, I said, if you're still praying, the prayer that I taught you when you was five years old, 10 years old, and you're now 30 years old, mm, that's a problem to me, okay? Some of you may think it ain't no problem, but here's the thing. You don't stay in first grade forever. You don't be six or five in first grade, and then you're 20, and you still doing first grade work. No, it don't work like that. 
So everything is about growth and evolving, okay? And we can't say we shouldn't still be praying the same prayers that we prayed when we was five years old and, you know, waiting around for those five-year-old results. You know, we got to grow up in Christ. And every day, every single day, um, you're going to have growth opportunities. All right. So it's not like uh, there are no growth opportunities that's happening in our lives. I really hope and pray that you guys are understanding what I'm saying. Um, I think it's very important that if you don't know how to speak in tongues, at least try. Pray and ask the Holy Spirit, ask God to teach you how to speak his language so that you can have direct communication. Because I've learned that you speaking in tongues and using the law of attraction is a perfect fit for manifestation. A perfect fit. And so, again, I just wanted to share this information. So if it's taking you, let's say you wanna manifest something and it, it's taken six months, a year or whatever, Learn how to speak the heavenly language and um, and then do your manifesting. It speeds up the manifestation process. I have been practicing this and living this in my life as far as I can remember. And you know, I remember the first time I spoke in tongues. Now I prayed and this was back in what baby did I have at the time? So it's about 18, 19 years ago. And I was praying and I kept saying, Father, I want to speak in tongues. And, you know, I was really in my heart. I wanted to speak in tongues because I wanted to worship God in a different way, not just in the language of English and just worshiping God. I wanted to really get into worship. And so one day my pastor, Pastor White, came to Arizona and um, it was during a service that he had. And the service was so powerful and it was so good. And that service, I spoke in tongues. I was so happy. But here's the thing, I couldn't shut up. The entire service, I was speaking in tongues. So God was just, had filled my belly and it was just overflowing and it was so wonderful and I was so happy it was amazing and so if you ask for it it will happen I asked for it and it happened for me and I was so grateful and I was so happy and I have not stopped since but now my prayer is I want to increase my tongues you know how you ever you ever heard somebody speak in tongues and you'd be like, wow, that's so powerful. Wow, that's so good. I want to be able to speak like, okay, so I still be in that. Like I, I love when when people are in worship or they're speaking in tongues and, and it sounds so powerful. And But this is who we are. Like this is who we are. We are these powerful and magnificent beings. And we have to learn how to speak the language of our higher selves, okay? Which is our God selves, all right? So it will really help and bless your life if you really do learn how to pray in the Holy Spirit. Now, start something small, like just pray and say, Holy Spirit, if this is what you really want to do, okay? Don't do it because I'm making this video and I'm saying you should do it, but you should do it. But if you if you really have a desire to speak in tongues, then just pray the prayer, Holy Spirit. Speak through me, help me, teach me how to speak in the heavenly language. And it will happen for you. And then I remember a lady in our church years ago, she said to me, um, she said, you need to start speaking in tongues. This is before 
I actually was filled with speaking in tongues. And so she said to me, you need to learn how to speak in tongues. And I'm like, how do I learn? She said, just let the spirit guide you. Just open your mouth and the Holy Spirit will speak through you. And I'm standing there like with my mouth open like, <laughs> and I'm waiting for the Holy Spirit to speak. But it started a little bit at a time. And I, all I did was I was obedient. I was such an obedient uh, student in ministry, okay? So I just opened my mouth and a little bit came out at a time. Kibode shandare kobo saka. Like a little bit came out at a time. And then as time went on, like that's just all I had, you know? But as time went on and when my pastor came, to Arizona that year the floodgates just opened up and I have not stopped since but I wanted to share my testimony and my journey with you guys and what helps me in my life so I do pray that this video has helped you I know it's a lot of people out there that uh, want to speak in tongues and that's struggling with it and if you are um, I'm going to tell you what a lady told me just open your mouth and just ask the Holy Spirit to fill you. And it doesn't matter in the beginning if you know what you're saying or not. That doesn't even matter. The Spirit will um, reveal all that to you over time. Okay? Or it could happen immediately. You know? God does what God does. Alright? So, this walk in Christ... I don't want to sound religious because this is not a religion channel. This is spirituality, which is completely different. Now, I did grow up in a church, okay? So I have a lot of church smarts, but I also learned the law of attraction and spirituality. And so I want to take both what I learned in ministry and what I learned in like science or the law of attraction and merge them together because it's still all God. And this is what we have to get away from, not get away from, this is what we have to understand that God is not just in the four walls of the church. Absolutely not. God is everywhere. God is in astrology. Most people say, don't deal with astrology. Da, da, da. Okay, but it's in the Bible. Like get real people. Okay, so God is in everything. He created everything and he made it good. So get off some of you guys of this. Get out of that, that head space that God is just in the church. I'm going to share the story. I remember when my sister and I went to life coaching school and we had a class. We had a hypnotherapy class. And we had never, you know, um, heard too much about, we didn't know too much about hypnotherapy except what they do in Hollywood. Now in Hollywood, they make you like, you get on stage and they say bark like a dog or cluck like a chicken or whatever. And so we're sitting there and the teacher, we're sitting there in class and the teacher is guiding us, okay, in this visualization, but it's a hypnosis visualization. So we sitting there, we got, we hold the hands under the table and we're saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, if this is not of you, do not let nothing happen to us because we were scared because we grew up in the church and we didn't know anything else, okay? But our spirits were so hungry for something else. Like this world is so big, the universe is so big and God is everywhere and he uses everything, okay? And so we're sitting there and we didn't know no better, okay? Because we was only exposed to church, that was it. And so... Honey, let me tell you this. We got, by the time, okay, so we sitting there, we praying that prayer, we holding hands. We realized, God just really opened up our understanding and we realized that God is in hypnotherapy. And it was so amazing, like the things that, that, that come up in you and that you release through hypnotherapy. Now the hypnotherapy her, uh, hypnotherapy I'm talking about is guided imagery and guided meditation. This was 
This is such a powerful tool that has helped so many people get off drugs, stop smoking, has helped children stop wetting the bed, has helped just so many people, okay? So I'm sh I always want to share my journey with you guys and what I do and what has helped me in my life. Listen, I live an awesome life. I don't share everything in my life, but I have such an amazing life. I freaking love my life. I love my life. And I'm so grateful to God that I'm here in this place today. Now, do I have, you know, stuff that go on in life? Absolutely. Absolutely. But I have learned the most important and valuable lesson is peace. Through all of this peace. Now, I know I kind of got away a little bit with this video talking about speaking in tongues and talking about the different languages and dialects of other people and how we need to learn the language and the dialect of the Holy Spirit so that we can operate in um, in a higher realm, okay? We don't want to just always stay on this level in God. Like some people are on such, and this is no judgment and no condemnation. I want to wake you up and help grow you up. Okay, some people on this level where they constantly beg God, which is the energy that's in them to do something. Get off this level and start growing in God and be God. Like God gave us all power, dominion and authority. So get off of this level of begging and, and, and rise up and stand up and take your your place and your position in this earth realm and do and be as God said like if he said I've given you I've given you all power be that okay take authority over the things that you see happening in life stop crying about it stop um complaining about it like you have no power at all to change the outcome of your lives because that is so not true you God, you are so awesome and so magnificent. And God gave you all this power and dominion. And you guys, we got to stand up and we got to use this power that God has given us. And a part of this power is speaking his language. Speaking his language. And I love it. Like, I, I, I love speaking you know, speaking in tongues when I'm in worship, when I'm in prayer, when I'm using the law of attraction, when I'm journaling, you know, I'm praying in the spirit when I'm journaling. Okay. So again, I found that the manifestation is faster. It's faster when you're praying in the spirit and you're using the law of attraction. All right. Now, um, so yeah. Just kind of open your mouth and ask the Holy Spirit to fill you. And then the other part, again, people, God is not just in the four walls of the church. God is everywhere and he uses everything. And I am so grateful to God for the school that I went to for life coaching and hypnotherapy and um, aromatherapy and Reiki and uh, what else am I certified in? Um, I'm certified in a lot of stuff. I love my life. I love healing and I love um, just, I love learning and I love studying about the universe and, you know, plants and trees and how, we, how we're one with plants. Like, you guys, please wake up. We are so awesome and the body is so phenomenal and every the creation is so phenomenal and God uses everything he put everything here everything I'm gonna share this last bit and then I'm gonna let you guys go look at our hands do you see the lines in our hands if you look at a leaf the leaves have the same lines those little bumps that's in the leaves that's the oil that's in the leaves and it's the same lines that's in our hands that oil is so compatible with the human body. Like the way God created it to be is so magnificent. I took um, organic 
I took an essential oils class. And so it was just teaching us and talking about how compatible the oils are from the plants with the human body. You guys, God is in everything, all right? And we gotta be able to communicate, you know, with this energy in, I don't, I look at it like this. I don't wanna stay on this level of communication with God. Like we, we, we gotta grow. We have to evolve. We have to continue moving forward. So if you started in kindergarten, you don't want to be 20 years on this earth and still spiritually in kindergarten. Like, no, absolutely not. You want to continue to grow every year. Your prayer life should be different. Every year you should be evolving and manifesting and you've done with that part of manifesting. Now you want to something else and you've manifested that and you want to something else. And you, your prayer life, your, your, your tongues are different. Like you're constantly growing and evolving. And we got to get to the point to where when we speak it, we're speaking it into existence instantaneously. We got to get to that place. All right, so everything that God is, we are. We have to know that, and then we have to demonstrate that. Like, we have to make that so, all right? And part of making that so is we got to grow up. We got to grow up. All right, so that's it for this video. I pray that it has blessed you. Um, maybe you have been praying to go to deeper levels in God, or maybe you have been praying to go to higher levels in God, whatever the case may be, the universe, the Holy Spirit has led you here. And for that, I am eternally grateful. So thank you guys so very much for being here and being a part of my journey and for allowing me to be a part of your journey. I am forever grateful. Um, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and leave a comment and go ahead and share this channel with your family and friends. I really appreciate it. Uh, when you do hit the like button, you guys, it sends a signal out there into YouTube land. And every person that hit the like button, um, like I said, it sends a signal out there and it exposes my channel to other people that may not be aware of the channel. So please go ahead and hit that like button. I really appreciate it. Um, also, go to the website, agoddesslove.org, and order the 40-day vegan challenge, you guys. We still have that going on, so go ahead and order the 40-day vegan challenge. And we have a lot of other wonderful products and books and uh, everything that's on the website. Um, so again, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be blessed, be well, be free, be happy, be prosperous, and namaste. Thank you.